king of glory comes the nation three choices open the gnash bridge for him lift up your voices the king of glory comes the nation three choices open the gates before him lift up your voices who is the king of glory how shall we call him He is Emmanuel the promised of ages the king of glory comes the nation three choices open the gates before him lift up your voice in all of galilee in city or village he was among his people curing their illness the king of glory comes the nation three choices open the gates before him lift up your voice praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to this online eucharistic celebration as we begin this holy eucharistic celebration let us put forward all our heart desires all our intentions all our prayers and petitions at the feet of the lord because today our lord and our god he wants to give us his life because he's calling to you and to me to offer ourselves to him as we begin this eucharistic celebration let us submit everything to the lord O oh, come let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us for he is the Lord our God In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all And with your spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and lift up our both hands and say father we praise you father we praise you father we love you father we love you father we glorify you father we glorify you jesus we adore you jesus we adore you jesus we love you jesus we love you jesus we glorify you jesus we glorify you holy spirit god we adore you holy spirit god we adore you holy spirit god we love you holy spirit god we love you holy spirit god we glorify you holy spirit god we glorify you hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today three readings also inviting us to reflect upon the life of three great prophets and apostles. Yes my dear brothers and sisters and today first reading where Isaiah is called by God to become his true prophet to become his true disciples and second reading we say saint paul is telling to people i am greatly blessed by god and highly exalted by god because god has chosen me to do the work of his and he's telling that i am a most privileged person that i am that i have received the grace of god and the gospel reading where we see the call of saint peter yes my dear brothers and sisters these three persons who were unworthy to become a disciple and prophet of god but still god calls them and makes them the worthy servant of his to become a true disciples and prophet for his kingdom yes my dear brothers and sisters as we partake on this day especially as we are entering into the fifth sunday in ordinary time let us submit ourselves because god is calling you and me to seek the vocation of us because he has given the vocation to live a different life but today god has god is calling you and me to become his 
companion, to become his disciples, to become his prophets. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as we partake this Holy Eucharistic celebration, if you have failed to understand his calling or his calls, let us ask pardon and mercy from the Lord that we may become worthy servants to partake this banquet of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly pause for a while and seek the help of the Lord. I confess to the Almighty God, my brothers and sisters, that I have, I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts, in my words, in what, what I have done, and in what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, and all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to the Father, to Him the glory forever, to Him the glory forever. Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Jesus. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Jesus. To Him be glory forever, to Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of Holy Spirit, glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Holy Spirit, to Him the glory forever, to Him the glory forever, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying slowly on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Here am I, Lord, send me. The first reading, I reading from, from book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verses from 1 to 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his face, and with two he flew. And one called the other and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundation of that 
threshold shook at the voice of him who called, and house filled with smoke. And I said, O oh, is me, for I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, and the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim to me, having in his hand a burning coal, which he had taken with drugs from the altar. And he touched my mouth, and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin forgiven. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying like, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or some your response is Before the angels I will bless you O Lord. Before, Before the, the angels, angels I will bless you O Lord. I thank you Lord with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. Your response before, Before the, the angels, angels, I will, will bless, bless you, o Lord. o Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased the strength of my soul. Your response? Before, Before the, the angels, angels, I will, I will bless, bless you, o Lord. Lord. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. Your response? Before, Before the, the angels, angels I, will I will bless you, O Lord. Lord. You stretch out your hands and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discover not the work of your hands. Your response? Before, Before the, the angels, angels I, will I will bless you, O Lord. Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 11. Now I would remind you, brethren, in what terms I preached to you the gospel, which you received, in which you stand, by which you are saved, if you hold it fast unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received. And Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brethren at one time, most of whom are still alive, though have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God which is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The Word of God. Thank you to God. Gospel Acclamation. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad and rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. It's a song of joy. Sing the song and we'll sing forever. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory, glory to you o lord chapter 5 verses 1 to 11 while the people pressed upon jesus to hear the word of god he was standing by the lake of gennesaret and he saw two boats by the lake but the pisher men had gone out of them and were washing their nets getting into of the boats which was simon's he asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people from the boat and when he had ceased speaking he said to simon put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch and simon answered master we toiled all night took nothing but at your word i will let down the nets and when they had done this they enclosed a great shoal of fish and as their nets were breaking they beckoned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them and they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink but when simon peter saw it he fell down at jesus knees saying depart from me for i am a sinful man o lord for he was astonished and all that were with him at the catch of fish which they had taken and so also were james and john sons of zebedee who were partners of simon And Jesus said to Simon, "Do not be afraid. Henceforth you will be catching men." And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord praise the Lord my dear brothers and sisters before hearing the word of god and before reflecting upon three readings let us close our eyes and thank the lord and let us chant this beautiful hymn about today's three readings because my life is for god my everything is for god because he has chosen me to do the will of his so let us chant this beautiful hymn because he has called you and me to be partner or to be the worker of his vineyard yes my dear brothers and sisters kindly close your eyes and open your heart and mind for the lord open your both hands because our lord he wants to enter into us मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है प्रभु तुम ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है यीशु मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है यीशु तुम ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है यीशु मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है यीशु 
का सहारा है ये जीसस माई लाइफ इज फॉर यू बिकॉज वट एवर आई डू इन द नेम ऑफ यू लॉर्ड बिकॉज यू हैव चोसन मी टू डू द वर्क ऑफ योर स्किनम लॉर्ड and you have chosen me and you have made me a prophet or a priest to do the work of your lord tune mujhe jeevan diya tera pyar mujhko diya tune mujhe jeevan diya तेरा प्यार मुझको दिया तू ही मेरा माता पिता तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये तू ही मेरा मारा पिता तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है प्रभु तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है ये तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये लॉर्ड जीसस यू हैव कॉल्ड मी टू डू द will of your lord because when we follow you lord we have the eternal life we have the salvation in you lord because you have anointed you have chosen all the prophets all the apostles and the same way you have called us as we have gathered around you lord as we are hearing you lord as we are chanting your name lord you have called us to do the will of your lord tu ne mujhe chun मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है प्रभु तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है ये तू ही मेरे जीने का सहारा है ये मेरा जीवन तुम्हारा है ये मेरे जीने का सहारा प्रिंस लॉर्ड प्रिंस लॉर्ड हाल लुया हाल लुई हाल लुया हाल लुई माई डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन क्राइस्ट जीसस लेट मी ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन टूवर्ड्स ऑन थ्री रीडिंग्स ऑफ टूडे वेयर आवर लॉर्ड इज कॉलिंग टू यू एंड टू मी बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट्स टू चूज यू टू बिकम हिज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट for the kingdom of god and today's theme is that chosen to be an chosen to be his an instrument yes my dear brothers and sisters today we are chosen to be ha- to be his an instrument because he wants to give his life when you follow him when you come closer to him there was a man he wanted to become a priest at the age of 84 it is a real incident it happened in one of the north india diocese in bhagalpur yes my dear brothers and sisters this person he got married at the age of 25 he got children two children 
those uh, both children are working in america and meanwhile when he was alone his wife also gone to the heaven after all he was alone left alone and he was very open to very often he was visiting to the church and he was praying and meanwhile he began to study philosophy in diploma a uh, diploma in philosophy theology and uh, diploma in theology so he studied all the spiritual activity all the spiritual things of the uh, priesthood now he thought up that i want to become a priest because he had a desire to become a priest and now at the age of 80 when he went to the bishop and asked my lord sip i want to become a priest and lord sip he laughed at towards him and said my dear now your age you see but very good feedback bishop and lord sip got from his parish nurse and from his parish priest and finally bishop he decided to ordain him as a priest praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters whatever the age and whatever the culture or whatever the caste and creed you may be but god if he has decided to choose you even if you are unto death he will choose you to do the will of his father praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters that is what we see in the first reading the call of prophet isaiah he was saying to him that i am unearth- unworthy to follow the put step of god but he was called by god because his lips were not that clean but god cleansed his lips purified his lips because he knew that he can do wonderful work even he was telling lord i am unworthy to do whatever work you give but god purifies him and makes him holy yes my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and second reading saint paul reminds us god has chosen him to be an apostle that's why we call him saint paul the apostle of the risen jesus christ yes my dear brothers and sisters jesus had 12 disciples or 12 apostles they experienced jesus life and death on this earth and they knew who jesus is but and whereas we see the life of paul neither and nor he was knowing jesus and he never had any experience about jesus but when he fell down from the horse he understood when he was going for the persecution or per- to persecute the christian he fell down from the horse and he understood that this is not my mission my mission is different and paul says among the apostles i am the least one even though i pers- persecute persecuted christian but god had a mercy on me and he has chosen me as his apostle yes my dear brothers and sisters and that is what we see the paul he highly blessed by god and he is chosen or he was chosen by god to do the mission of god praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters in the gospel we see jesus calls his disciples jesus tells them not to become mere fishermen for what they were trained to be but he tells them to be to he tells them to take a leave for the great mission because you are called to be a fisher for men as we see you are called to be a fisher of men not to fish the fishes but you have to bring the men to my kingdom all those who need of my kingdom you have to bring because you are to you are called to catch people for my kingdom yes my dear brothers and sisters 
That is what we see. God's ways are different. God's plans are different. God's criteria are different. God's purpose is different. All three reading calls us to their vocation and they have their own personalities. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. The three personalities were ordinary men, Isaiah, Paul, and Peter, along with other disciples and apostles of Jesus accepted their own because God accepted them. Even they were unworthy. Even they are in unworthy, God accepted them. Isaiah said, I am a man of unclean lips, but still God accepted him. Paul said, I am a persecutor of the Christians, but still God accepted him. Peter said, I am a sinner. Depart from me, Lord. But knowing their limitations, knowing their failures, God gave them the life of eternal to do the mission work in his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is what we see. They were the failure, but they humbly they accepted. Isaiah was humbly accepted. And he said, God said, Whom shall I send? And Isaiah, he replied, I am here, your servant. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. And St. Paul, he said that, he says, that preaching to the Christ is my privilege. He humbly, he accepts. Even though he was a persecutor, even though he was a killer of the Christians, but humbly he accepts, I am a most privileged person to preach about the word of God and preach about Jesus Christ who is God and who is our God. And the Saint Peter, even though he betrayed Jesus, he went and whipped and, and he baptized so many, so many people because he repented his heart and mind. And meanwhile, we know he became the leader of the church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, they were called to be the voice of God to carry out the Lord's mission. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, you are and myself are called to carry the mission of God because he wants to make you a true disciples and apostles of his kingdom. God can take very simple people or ordinary people, no matter how sinful you are, no matter how broken you are, no matter how you, you are wounded, but still God wants to make an instrument through you and he wants to use you by giving his life. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, that is why it is a beautifully said, God does not call the qualified one, but he qualifies the called one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Isaiah was not the qualified person, but God qualified him by touching his lips and purifying him and made him holy. Paul was not qualified for the preach, for the qualified to preach the word of God because he was persecuting the Christians and he was he was well learned in Gamaliel the law of Judaism and he was very strict and he all those who were against the Judaism religion he was persecuting them and he was killing them but still God calls him and makes him to qualify in his vineyard. And we also see Peter's life, how he was a man, fisherman, he was an illiterate man. His personality was a just an ordinary man. But still God calls him to become a true disciple and apostle of him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today our Lord is calling you and me 
to do his work even though we are weak and fragile being we are so much wounded we are so much hurted by so many people but still god is calling you and me as we see in the responsorial psalm of today where lord is telling to each one of us and telling to you and me lord will complete what he has done for me if god has chosen you and me god will be always with us to do his work and to complete and to fulfill his desire praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord the vatican council says the church reminds us the services we are called by our baptism we are called to become instrument of god we are called to become a holy we are called to be a missionaries we are called to proclaim god news and good news of our lord jesus christ yes my dear brothers and sisters as a prophet or as a apostle of christ we need to think it over which way our vocation is let us become aware of our call and our life because our lord and god he wants to give his life through his death and resurrection yes my dear brothers and sisters there are so many prophets so many apostles who lived their life instead uh, in spite of so many weaknesses and problems as we see the lord calls abraham though he was a ideal idol worshipper but still god calls him as we read in genesis chapter 11 verse 27 the lord calls esther even though she was a orphan as we read in esther chapter 2 the lord calls rahab even though she was a prostitute first samuel chapter 14 yes my dear brothers and sisters the lord calls gideon to be a judge even though he was a covid as we read in the book of judges chapter 6 the lord calls moses the stammerer man he was not able to speak in exodus chapter 4 the lord calls jacob who is a liar as we read in genesis chapter 25 but still god calls them the lord calls jonah the skipper he was always skipping the things but still god calls him to do the work of his kingdom the lord calls samaritan woman who was sinner as we read in gospel of john chapter 4 the lord called jeremiah who was a young boy as we read in jeremiah 11 1 to 11 1 to 1 the lord calls timothy who was a young boy the lord called each one of us to be his missionary let us remember we are called to be the greater purpose yes my dear brothers and sisters today our lord and god is reminding each one of us to be the part and parcel of his servant to become the kingdom of god Yes my dear brothers and sisters let us know that god uses our brokenness broken clouds produces rain broken seed produces crops broken person or broken individual produces god's love yes my dear brothers and sisters we are broken we are fragile but if you give your life to the lord god will make use with a brokenness and he will make that instrument to the whole world let us become aware of our brokenness and let us mightily be used for the instrument of god because lord wants to give his life yes my dear brothers and sisters as we celebrate this holy eucharistic celebration let us not feel that i am a broken but you are broken for the lord 
let us give yourself to the lord let us submit for the lord because lord wants to give his life to you yes my dear brothers and sisters let us put forward yourself before the lord because lord wants to use you amen i believe in god father, father almighty you, creator, creator of, of heaven and earth, earth. I believe, I believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his son our Lord. Lord. He was, was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified died on his bread, descended to death, and third day rose again. He ascended to heaven, and third day rose again. He ascended to heaven, and third day rose again. Seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come, come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. my dear brothers and sisters let us put forward all our heart desires all our prayers at the feet of the lord let our response shall be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer very especially we pray for the leader of our church all those who are leading our church especially to the especially for the pope cardinals bishops let them experience the love of god and let them become true leader for our church and they may guide and lead our church in a worthy manner for this we pray lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we also pray for our country all those who people are suffering from the corona and there are people who are suffering from various kinds of sicknesses lord jesus bless them anoint them and in special way i ask through your precious blood let them cure as early as possible let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer all those who are watching this online mass lord bless them anoint them and give them necessary gifts whatever they require in their life let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we especially we pray for all those who have asked us our prayers and petitions that they may be blessed and let them experience the love of god that they are chosen race of god let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer kindly pause for a while and put all your personal intentions at the feet of the lord let us pray god our loving father we thank you and praise you for this beautiful day because you have chosen each one of us to be the apostles and prophets of your kingdom lord bless us and give us your grace to do the will of yours we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. forever amen blessed be god blessed be god blessed be god forever amen blessed are you lord god of all creation thanks to your goodness this wine we offer fruit of the earth Work of our hands, it will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, 
Blessed be God forever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and, glory and glory of His name, for, for our, our good and good of all His holy, holy Church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made a whole thing whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Hosanna 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 in the high Hosanna 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 in the highest Lord we lift up your name Lord we lift up your name With a heart full of praise With a heart full of praise Salt and the Lord of God Hosanna in the highest Blessed 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 is the one who comes Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes. Lord, we lift up Your name. Lord, we lift up Your name. With the hearts full of praise, with the hearts full of praise, we exalt and our Lord of God, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is my body which will be given up for you we adore you lord we adore you lord we adore you lord Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins." Do this in memory of me. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith.
crying you destroyed our day rising you restored our life lord jesus lord jesus come in glory Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope and Anthony Paul, our bishop, and all the clergy. Special way we remember and pray all those who have asked us our prayers and petitions that they may receive the grace of God, and they may know their call or their vocation, that they are really for our Lord Jesus Christ to work in his vineyard. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased with you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. That, that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
servant, humble and me. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak, and may the prayer of my heart always be, make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant today. Even though you were in the form of God, you took the form of a slave. You accepted death, even on a cross, so God exalted your name. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be, make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant today. Let them thank the Lord for His mercy, His wonders for the children of men, for He is he satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray, O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us. The Father, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks Amen. be to God. My dear brothers and sisters. Wish you a happy day. God bless you. Have a blessed day. to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. As eternal peace is now, I will sing to my God never ceasing. All my life I will tell of His wonders. He's a maker of all earth and heaven. Of the ocean, the sea, so they hold. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. As eternal peace is love.